Um, yeah. Not entirely sure what happened. I asked for 2,000 likes in a day, and the video got 6,000 likes. That is absolutely crazy. If we can hit 1,500 likes on this episode, I'd be very grateful. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Welcome to the first ever midweek I Rate Your Teams. These are going to be coming every Wednesday and Sunday from now on. Wednesday at 4pm, Sunday at 10am. So make sure you set your calendars and your alarm clocks for those times. Uh, we're in a brand new room. Um, I've just moved house again for the second time in like two months long story um let me know down below what i should get for the background should i get some like display should i get some cool posters if you've got any recommendations at all please leave them down below and if this episode sounds a little bit echoey then you know exactly why so i rate your teams wednesday episode if you want to be involved tweet me a hd screenshot of your team what it plays like in game and how you start give me a brief description how many coins have you got who's tradable slash untradable uh, and whatnot and then just send it to me on twitter using the hashtag it's haber I can't see it if all you do is at me. I have to see the hashtag because that's what I actually search up on Twitter to find all of the uh, pictures. First one is from Sammy G 2 He says, I have 100,000 coins left over. So he starts in a 4-3-3-3 and he plays a 4-2-3-1 with Gelson Martins on right wing, uh, Komen left wing, Lewandowski at central cam. That's an interesting one. Suzoko uh, and Kante. Ferlin Mendy, my favorite player. I didn't mean to suggest Ferlin Mendy to everyone in the last episode. It just kind of happened. I do apologize. If you don't like Verlin Mendy, because I did go overboard with the amount of times I said Verlin Mendy in that episode. But um, let's see how you start to see uh, how you can make the changes. So you've got 100,000 coins left over. I think realistically, the only change you should be looking to make. I mean, I guess there's two changes that you could make. Um, I think that you could look to possibly upgrade uh, Lewandowski to somebody, maybe a French player, and then you can get a French right wing, maybe uh, Tovan. I know Tovan's not exactly an upgrade on Gelson Martins, I'm just thinking chemistry-wise. Uh, or you could go, um, you could keep Gelson Martins and go with like a French Prem striker, maybe go with Lacazette. Uh, I think Lacazette's under 100k. I just realized that I've got terrible internet right now, so uh, probably not going to be able to uh, search uh, footbin very easily, but we'll check for Lacazette real quick because I think he's I think he's like 60 70 thousand coins um, How much are you? I do apologize. The internet will be fixed pretty soon uh, I'm sorry for this uh, this super slow internet 72 thousand coins So what I would do is I would replace Lewandowski with uh, Lacazette It gives you a little bit more pace in the middle better dribbling good passing and whatnot um, I think that you'll benefit more from having Lacazette in the middle than you would from having uh, I don't know for example Lewandowski and he plays on full chemistry too, which is pretty cool So that's what I'd recommend uh, it's a nice team. Though. I like it. And, uh, and a, lot of, a lot of you guys said PK plays really, really well in game. So I might have to start using him. I did complete him. Uh, are these players on the bench tradable or untradable or loans? I'd love to know that as well. Because if you've got like a couple of wants to, wants to watches that are tradable on the bench, you might be able to sell those and get an even better player up top. Maybe like a Hyung Min Son or something on off chemistry, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. So uh, yeah, let me know down below and uh, let's move on. So the next one is from Faultsy. Uh, everyone tradable besides loans and Pookie. I sub on Jesus for plea in game. Seven thousand coins to spend a four five one i'm guessing you play four five one in game i don't like this i don't like nabri off chemistry here what i would personally do is i prefer nabri over bellarabi i would get rid of bellarabi i'd sell him for i don't know how much he goes for but he sells for a little bit i would sell bellarabi straight away that's the first thing i'd do uh i would then put nabri at right mid buy havertz and then i would buy Werner up top as well uh, Jesus, I'm guessing, is decent, but I think you'd probably do better with having um, Werner up top. Werner is so OP this year. He tears me apart in weekend league all the time, so I'd say go with Werner up top, uh, Havertz at Cam, and, uh, and Nabry at right mid, because Nabry on like three chemistry is just not going to do very well for you at Cam, in my opinion. Uh, so that's what I personally do. Uh, with your team. Next one from Ben Johnson says, everyone except for Nesta is tradable. Also have 200,000 coins. Okay, you've got a decent amount of coins in the bank. Uh, everyone bar Nesta is tradable too. Would I change much with this team? I would probably swap Jesus and Lucas. I think that Lucas would be better as a cam. Jesus better up top. Um, I would then get Walker over Trent Alexander-Arnold. I would then get Ferlin Mendy <laughs> over uh, Marcelo. And then I think you might be able to afford Ramos. Uh, how much is Ramos going for? I actually like Ramos this year. Uh, how much is Ramos? 158. With the Kyle Walker upgrade, you probably won't be able to afford Ramos, but if you can grind towards getting a Ramos and then getting a 
like a Testegan goal. I think that you'll probably benefit really well from that. Um, but yeah, the, the main upgrade is probably just swapping Lucas and uh, Gabriel Jesus and then getting Kai Walker at right back and Ferla Mendy at left back. That's what I would work towards to start. Now, the next one is from Fresto. It says, Navas, Politano, and Lucas are the only untradeables. 40,000 coins for improvements. Also, not sure who is go uh, who I should go for for icon swaps. Let's have a look at your team then. So, you start like this. Oh, you got Politano. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, you play a 3-5-2. Uh, let me know down below how you guys play a 3-5-2, whether you play really wide, whether you play quite narrow, whether you push up the pitch a lot, whether you sort of drop back a bit more. I really want to try using a, a three-back formation, but I'm not entirely sure how to. So any advice you have for me in the comments down below would be greatly appreciated. Uh, in terms of upgrades I've made to your squad, I really like the, the layout of the squad. Which icon would I go for? Maybe Zanetti. And the reason I say that is because Zanetti isn't the strongest, but you would be able to... Is, wait, is, is Mo, Ro Magnoli... Okay, Ro Magnoli's tradable. How much is Ro Magnoli going for? Ro Magnoli. How much does this guy sell for real quick? I'm just thinking now. So 94k, put you on 130k. Um, it would allow you possibly to get a better centre-back here, a better French centre-back. Is there any realistically? Not that will get you full chemistry. Um, yeah, no, there's not exactly any better ones that will get you full chemistry. So you probably keep Kimpembe there. Um, so I'd probably go for, I'd still go for Zanetti, sell Romagnoli. Um, then you have, obviously, Zanetti isn't the strongest for left centre-back, but he'll be pacier and he'll probably intercept more. Or maybe you swap Verlin Mendy and, uh, and Zanetti in game and play Zanetti as a left mid and Verlin Mendy as a left centre-back. Um, and then, if I were you, I would work towards getting a better centre-back here. Um, go, you know, work towards a Blanc or someone like that would be an incredible addition to the squad. Aside from that, I don't see a lot of changes. The thing is, is a lot of people get upset with me when I'm like, I don't see how you change this because they're like, obviously you could replace uh, Lucas with Firmino. And it's like, when you've already got a player like Lucas, Firmino isn't a big upgrade for that player. Uh, same with, for example, Ben Yedder. Upgrading to Mbappe, it's not worth spending a million coins on that upgrade when you could distribute a million coins around the squad. I know it's a poor example because you didn't have a million coins, but that's the sort of example I'm trying to make. So, for example, uh, with 40,000 coins, you could say upgrade uh, Kimpembe to Marquinhos, but the upgrade isn't that worth it because Marquinhos won't play that much better in game than Kimpembe, you know, so it's not exactly worth it. So it's, it's finding that balance, really, um, and trying to get full chemistry at the same time is, is what I sort of look for with the squads. Um, but no, I actually like the squad. I like what I like the 3 5 2. I like what you're working with. That Politano looks really, really good. I do need to try and get him soon. I keep forgetting to, and I need to just dedicate a day to getting him. Uh, the next one is from Shrek Wazowski. <laughs> I have like 20,000 coins to spend because I wasted all my money in packs, got nothing. Every player is tradable. Let's check it out. Okay. Uh, 20,000 coins to spend. Um, I would personally go Joe Gomez over David Luiz, Kieran Tierney over Luke Shaw, uh, Willian over Walcott. Uh, and it can I'd, I'd get rid of Henderson, put Genie at, at CDM and go with Jesse Lingard at cam. And then maybe up top, I'd probably get like a Wilson or a Josh King. Um, I think that, oh, you've got William on the bench. I see that actually. Uh, I think that you want to go more pace and, and, and power rather than, uh, rather than obviously Haller is power, but he didn't have the pace at all. Unless you're a good crosser of the ball, I think that Haller won't be great for you. Uh, but I see you've got Lingard. I see you've got Rudiger, who'd be a great, uh, like better than David Luiz, in my opinion. I see you've got Joe Gomez as well, better than David Luiz. I see you've got Willian. Obviously, you'll put Willian on. Uh, I'm guessing that's a lone seller on the bench over there. Uh, you can't see it, but it's blocked by my uh, by my camera. But he's got a lone seller on the bench. Um, so I, I sort of see what you're doing. I see I like what you're doing. Uh, and I just make those uh, those improvements, really. Uh, next up is from Poz, who says he's got 50,000 coins. He plays a 3-5-2 in game. The SBCs are untradeable, and so is Carlos. Every other player is tradable. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like the squad. Now, first of all, I see what you're doing with Hulk. I kind of like it, but I would personally go with Di Maria over here. Now, Di Maria isn't the best player in the game, but the reason why I say that is because I think you would benefit more from having Idrissa Garner Gay uh, and Di Maria on chemistry than having both Hulk and Idrissa off chemistry. Uh, I would then probably swap out uh, Eder Militao. Now, he's, he's ridiculously overpowered, but off chemistry, again, don't really see the value in having Eder Militao when you could have a player on chemistry like a Thiago Silva, maybe. 
Um, I think you benefit more. And plus, as a three back, I think that you probably benefit more from having a slower but bigger. Uh, obviously, Thiago Silva is not like huge or strong or anything, but you'd have a better tackler of the ball in the middle than you would having a pacier player in the middle, in my opinion. Obviously, Adem Militao is pretty overpowered, but um, if you if you really enjoy him on chemistry, uh, sorry, off chemistry, I'd say keep him. But if you're looking to try and upgrade that position, I would. And then obviously at right mid, I'd say get Di Maria. Five-star skills as well. You can't go wrong with that. And he's actually not bad in game. He's not amazing, but he's not bad. Uh, aside from that, I like what you did. I like Ozil in the middle. Uh, I see you've got subs for Ozil and the strikers if you need. Uh, Carlos, I imagine, probably got a lethal left foot on him. Uh, it's a nice team. Uh, the next one is from SportsyYT. He play, uh, sorry, all tradable except Keita. I play this in game, have 20,000 coins for improvements. Okay, so everyone's tradable except for Keita. Okay. Uh, well, I'd say Keita is not worth having, even if he isn't tradable. I don't think he's worth having that. I'd get Jesse Lingard. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, cheap cams in the game. I would sell Ben Mendy. I I'd get Tierney. Uh, I, I always say that to people. People don't understand why I like Tierney so much. But in my opinion, uh, this card is way better than a Ben Mendy because you've got the the left foot on the left, which I like, which I think Ben Mendy's left foot anyway, but it doesn't matter. But you've got 89 stamina mixed with 88 pace works really well. You want players that, that uh, can, can run around a lot, get in behind or in front of players. Uh, he's got decent jumping, decent strength, like 76 strength is not bad. 82 aggression is decent, um, but he can play the ball forward as well. He can take the ball forward. Uh, in my opinion, he's a really well all round left back uh, and he's quite cheap as well. So I'd personally go with that. Um, and then if you can stretch eventually, obviously, you won't be able to now, but after rewards, stretch to a Sizoko instead of uh, Gundawan. I think that you'll benefit from that as well. Aside from that, I think you've got really good players in positions, and uh, and and I'm, I'd hope you'd enjoy this team. I mean, all the five star killers up front, and, and Philippe Anderson as well. Um, so it's a nice team. Uh, next one is going to be from Dia FIFA HD. Uh, I've got 200,000 coins. Any improvements can you make? Wow, that is a god squad. That right there is an absolute god squad. Um, any improvements with 200,000 coins? Ramos over PK maybe, but that's only if you prefer Ramos over PK or if you're really enjoying PK, keep him. Long lay is incredible as well. Maybe long lay over PK. Aside from that, I wouldn't change anything. That team is unreal. So massive GG for that team, mate. That is insane. Uh, next one is from uh, Davin Neely. My incredibles are Son and Pep. Got 200,000 coins. I'm looking at who to save for. Also, I'm replacing Ede Militao with Rio Ferdinand and Icon Swaps. Keep up the great work. I hope you reach your goals. Thank you very much, man. Um, wow, it's a nice team. So you've got 200,000 coins. Uh, the Untradables are Pep and Son. Okay, so Pep Guardiola and Son. Wow, that's incredible. We've got Untradable Son. That's unreal. I wish I had an Untradable Son. Um... What would I change for 200k? Can you afford, uh, can you afford Varane for 200k? Can you afford Rafael Varane for 200,000 coins? 264k. Um, oh, you're replacing Eder Militao with Ferdinand in Icon Swaps anyway. That's fair enough. Um, 200k though, I don't, I mean, you could possibly get Lucas over Gabriel Jesus. I think that you'd probably prefer Lucas over Gabriel Jesus. Um, and then you maybe just start saving for a Messi, I'd say. Uh, that is a really nice team and incredible to have Son untradable. I wish I had that card untradable. That would be nuts. Uh, next up, we have got, uh, I think this is Stax's team. Uh, the whole back line and bench is untradable. I have 80,000 coins to work with. You can change the front line in brackets 500k. All right. Well, that's an incredible back line to have untradable. I, I rate that. I like that you've got them all untradable. Uh, I would get De Jong over uh, Vidal. That is the only change I would make to your squad. Get De Jong over Vidal. That is literally it. A nice squad. That is a really well-built uh, squad. Next team is from ADOT. I have 550k. Going to get Carlos left back when I get tokens. SBC cards only on tradables. I play four triple two in game. Okay. Well, I like you're going to get him, him there. So let's imagine that's Roberto Carlos. What change would I make for 500, 550k? How much is Virgil? Uh, how much is this card? 640 is close. I would say start saving up now and replace Joe Gomez with Virgil van Dijk. That is pretty much all I'd do because once you get van Dijk in there, you have got the most unreal defensive partnership in the world. Like, Eder Militao is OP, but van Dijk is just everything in this game. He is so good defensively. It's like, 
it's impossible to get past him. So I would personally just say replace Joe Gomez with Van Dijk and you are absolutely laughing with that squad. Uh, and good good luck with it. Good luck with your squad. It's a very nice squad. Next one is from RXB. Tradables equals Kane, Silva, Vertonghen, Otamendi, Edison, Busquets, PK, Lukaku. Rest is untradeable. Uh, 150k got from Liechtenstein. Keep up the good work. Oh, that's sick. From Licht, it's crazy the amount of people from, from different countries and things that, are, that watch me. I, I'm so grateful. I really am. So uh, let me just double check that. So trade awards are Kane, Silver, Tongue, Otamendi, Edison, Busquets, PK, Lukaku. Okay. Um, what would I change in this squad? Get a different left mid. I would get Felipe Anderson over Dembele. Uh, I know you've got Dembele untradeable, but I think you'd benefit more from bringing him on as a super sub than having him off chemistry and causing poor chemistry for the rest of the squad. So I would just say get Felipe Anderson for this squad. I would then upgrade Otamendi to Davinson Sanchez. Uh, I would upgrade Vertonghen, and this is an upgrade. Vertonghen to Joe Gomez, and you re the reason why that's an upgrade is because Vertonghen is terrible on this game, in my opinion. Uh, and then I would try, if you've got enough coins left over, to to change end on ballet for Sissoko. Um, and I think you're good with the rest of the squad there. Uh, moving on now, we have got... Uh, Cheap Hullet. Now, the reason I'm not looking at Charlie's is because it's a very small screenshot and you guys literally won't be able to see it. So I don't want to show you guys and not be able to see it, basically. Uh, we've got Cheap Hullet squad. Uh, he said, everyone is untradeable except Aurea, Hernandez, and Deco, and Komen. 200,000 coins for upgrades. I play a 4-3-3-4 four, three, three, four in game with Zaha, Chan, Ozil, Deco, center mids. Okay. With, with okay. Uh, I think I get what you're saying. Um... How many coins you got left? Uh, 200k for upgrades. Everyone's untradeable except Aurea, Hernandez, Deco, and Komen. Aurea, Hernandez, Deco, and Komen. They're tradable. The rest are untradeable. Some good untradables there. What would I change? Um, what would I change? It's a good question, actually. I would possibly go the French route. Get rid of Lewandowski and go the French route. Uh, and then get, as a French striker, I'd start with Lacazette and then work towards eventually getting Mbappe. Uh, because then obviously it gets you full chemistry too. I don't see a massive upgrade you can make in your squad that will change anything with 200k, to be honest. Uh, I think you've got a really nice squad. Uh, how is that storyline Zaha is what I would like to know. Um, I'm quite close to it, but I need to, I need to actually finish it. So I'd love to know how he plays. Uh, the next one is from Unknown. Uh, he says, everyone's tradable except Lozano. I have 50,000 coins. Okay. All right. Nice squad. Uh, get Lucas Hernandez. Is it Lucas or Theo? Pretty sure it's Lucas Hernandez. Uh, I don't know how much he goes for now. I think he's about 20k. Yeah, get this card as your left centre back and put Boateng right centre back or, or put him right centre back and change in game. That's the only change I'd make to your squad. Uh, apart from that, you've got really OP plays in the right positions. It's a nice squad. It really is. Uh, next one is from Joshua Savage says this is what I play in game the bench plus Martins, Fabinho, Longley, Nesta are all untradeable I have 110k I start in a 4-3-3 with Allen's and and Mertens right CDM uh, I can grind towards a play you recommend I can also grind icon swaps too keep up the great work mate Yo, thank you Joshua I appreciate that so let's have a look so 110k start in a 4-3-3-3 uh, Allen's and mid, Mertens right CDM um, the bench plus Martins, Fabinho, Longley, Nesta are all untradeable. You've got some really good untradeables, man. Everyone's got some insane untradeables. Uh, what would I change? What would I change? I would put... Uh, it might jeopardize chemistry. In fact, I think it will jeopardize chemistry. But I think Ferlin Mendy would be the shout. I don't think Dinier's great this year. Um, unless you can get... Okay, no, that would also jeopardize chemistry, wasn't it? Um, if you play a 4 3 3, three Put Nesta as your left centre-back. Longley is your right centre-back. He gets the French link with Malqui. Full chemistry, even if he's got a dead link at the right CDM. I would then go with Robertson as your left-back over Digne. And aside from that, I don't think I'd change anything. You've got the be the best players in the positions I think you can get, probably. Uh, so it's an incredible squad. Very nice squad. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, next one is from Big Boy Joel. Got 20k left for an improvement if I need any. Let's have a look. I'm seeing some squads, and I'm seeing, sorry, I'm seeing some players, and it looks nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, with 20k, you can't really improve it yet. I would just save up for uh, for a long lay over run. Um, how is Cruz? I'd love to know how Cruz is, because apparently he's really good. I've heard some great things about that Cruz card. But yeah, aside from saving up then for a long lay over run, I don't think I could change anything that would improve your squad, to be honest. It's a nice squad. Uh, next one is from Omar Emad. 
uh, who says, got Mendy and Testagan instead of Ariola and Roussillon, still have 100k spare and 12 icon swap tokens. Where should I upgrade? All are tradable except PK and Politano, of course. Okay. Um, you got 12 icon swap tokens left. What could you get? Maybe, uh, let's have a look at Cam. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe Roberto Carlos. No, let's have a look at your CDMs. De Jong and, okay. Yeah, maybe you go Roberto Carlos. Get you a decent left back that you can have pretty much for most of the game. Aside from that, I don't think I'd I see anything that you could do that would make your squad mad great, to be honest. Like, like that would improve it madly. Uh, I'd say get get uh, Roberto Carlos. Uh, next squad, uh, 60k budget. Adair Militao, Firmino, Felipe Anderson, and SBC and Storyline cards are untradeable. I don't change formation in game. Okay. 60k budget. Uh, and what, the SBC cards, Storyline cards, uh, Firmino, Adair Militao, Felipe Anderson are untradeable. Um... I would just replace Casemiro in this squad. I replace Casemiro with Fabinho. Can you afford that? Yeah, you can afford that. Get rid of Casemiro, bring in Fabinho. Sorted. Easy as that. Casemiro is probably awful this year. Uh, I haven't even tried him, but I can tell just like, looking at the card, it doesn't look great. Fabinho is fantastic this year. Really like him. Uh, and the last squad for the episode is going to be from Charlie Banks. Politano, PK, Mane, and the whole bench are untradeable. Got 300,000 coins to spend. Thinking of getting Gerard from Icon Tops, but open to suggestions. Love the vids. Keep up the good work. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, Politano, PK, Mane, and the whole bench are untradeable. Politano, PK, Mane, and the whole bench are untradeable. Got 200k for improvements. What would I do? I would get Ferland Mendy and Longley over Adair Militao and Marcelo. Uh, Adair Militao is ridiculous on this game. I think Longley edges it a tiny bit. Uh, I think Ferland Mendy is the best left back on the game. I've said it so many times. I think you guys finally start believing that I really believe that. Um, and aside from that, I wouldn't change a single thing. I think it plays really well in game aside from that, mate. Uh, very, very nice. And uh, and that marks this episode. So we're going to end this off by giving you guys a little bit of an FAQ. So a lot of people are asking me, when should I send my teams in? What's the best time to send my teams in? If you want to be featured and you want the best chance to be featured, send your teams in on Tuesday and Saturday. They're the two best days to send in your teams. If you send them in midweek, uh, you might still get featured. Um, you know, sometimes I'll record them at random times to try and help other people get featured. But Tuesday and Saturday are probably the best times. I'm saying this at the end of the video because I know that the real hardcores that want to be involved in the episodes will watch the whole thing. So I want to say this at the end of the video. So... Send your teams in on Tuesdays and Saturdays if you really want the best chance of being involved. Uh, they're the days I typically record these. Um, and thank you all for the epic support. If we can hit one and a half thousand likes on this episode, that'd be absolutely unreal. Thank you all for showing the epic support on the channel. I'm so grateful. I'm still blown away. I actually genuinely cannot believe we got six thousand likes on this video. That might be the most liked video I've ever uploaded. That is insane. 125. This video got 100k views in the first day mind blown i don't even know how that was possible i don't know how it happened i don't know how we did it but we did it and i'm so grateful so thank you all for the epic support thank you all for showing the love you guys are mental i'm so grateful for that and i'll see you later